Hey Vikings, have you or your clan ever run out of resources? Is that something that's holding back your growth? Well, there's an easy solution to that and that's the support account. What a support account is, is a secondary tertiary account that is purely designed to produce resources. So you're not going to be spending money on it, you're not going to be attacking with it, it's just sitting there to hyper farm for you. So when making one of these you have two goals. Obviously you want to maximize the resources it can produce, so that means hyper farming. And then the second goal is you want to minimize the influence uh, the account has. And the reason for that is that influence affects what league your clan is uh, in for competitions, as well as how strong of an opponent you get for CVC. That said, as long as you make your support account fairly lean, it's not going to have any real negative effects on the clan. To start, we'll uh, look at maximizing your resources. Not going to get super into this. There are plenty of hyper farming videos out there. Uh, the nice thing with a support account is that once you get it to the desired level, it's no longer building anything. As you can see, construction and learning queue down here is completely empty. So once you get it there, everything you produce is going to your clan stronghold, your clan bank, or your main account. Uh, that also means that you don't need to keep these three things here. So actually I should be getting rid of those um, in the next day or so. Then on top of that, you want to make sure you have the 100% iron production, resource production going, a good town skin if you can. And lastly, your hero set up properly. If you can get gear for whatever you're hyper, hyper farming, that's great. Um, and your shaman to whatever level is appropriate. Now the second goal, keeping your influence low, you want to make sure you don't build any buildings you don't need. So actually, I should go ahead and delete these. <laughs> and this one. You notice um, I don't have a gem combining thing here. Um, and I haven't built up uh, the manners. Now that that is partly because the way I set this up is I had two accounts. One was producing silver this one couldn't produce silver because it was holding the silver until yesterday. Uh, wouldn't build this either, or the war block. Oh, and another thing that I, I did wrong, but that you should uh, not complete are the quests. It's just a whole bunch of influence for a tiny little one-time boost. Avoid those. And the other big thing that's going to hurt you is the oracle. This, uh, again, is not the best setup, but basically you want your economic tree. If I had done this properly, I would have gotten this through this, and then whatever I need to be able to access Metallurgy 10, and I would have just left it there. I wouldn't have bothered with any of this other stuff. Um, it's good to get Invader <laughs> 1. Beyond that, you really don't need it. The one thing we're not really going to worry about for influence is your hero level. It does add a decent bit of influence, but it's worth it. And ultimately, if you're doing tasks, it's going to level up anyways, so I would just let that one go. And the last thing is to make sure you tag uh, all the clan events. You won't really get a whole lot of points for these. You just want to make sure you get the gold from them. That'll keep your boost going, and you can use the extra on clan task refreshers which you can either use to buy more clan task refreshers uh, that provides a lot of uh, resources or you can spend that uh, those clan points on scrolls for your clan stronghold. Building one of these does take a little bit of time but if you go ahead and make the account on the first day of the server and just let it sit and accumulate boost for a while uh, maybe two or three weeks you can get through it very quickly and have it up and running without dealing with the headache of slowly leveling everything. Very useful to have. Your clan will thank you. And as always, if you found this video interesting or helpful, please hit that like button down below. If you're interested in seeing more ways to optimize your Vikings War of Clans gameplay, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well, and I will see you all soon.